If you think Genshin's pity is predatory, but FGO's is great, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You read the pity disclaimer for Coin's banner. It seems her individual banner will run until January 10th. I thought that the other servants were going to have their own separate banners. The reason I thought that is because I was told that by someone else. There is not a pity counter. There is not a pity counter. You either need to keep track yourself or you need to just magically see the yellow uh, font pop up telling you that you hit the limit, okay? I don't want to cause some kind of like civil war because I've realized that people cannot be a, a, like objective about this. Someone who spends a decent amount on both games, like... I don't really have a bias either way. If anything, you would think I'd be biased towards FGO because it's carried our channel, but no, like, objectively speaking, like, I would rather have the Genshin pity system than this. I just would. It's a high pity, but it is a pity, all right? The pity does not carry over. There are banners where you will have a single day to, to use your pity. There are times where you'll have a single day. Everybody else, let me make it perfectly clear. This... You could call it a step in the right direction if you want to. You could call it just a, an improvement. No matter what, this is an improvement of some sort, of some measure, over what we had. You guys gotta remember, I tend to think about the game as a totality. New players, free-to-plays, veteran players, dolphins, people who are casually players who log in like once every few days, that sort of thing, okay? This pity is not gonna benefit literally 90% of the player base. And that's okay, because 90% of the player base is not going to go $500 in for an SSR. They're not going to do that. And that's okay. That's okay. Genshin's pity is for everybody throughout the entirety of the game. This is not that. And that's okay. They're just different. They're just different. Your your upper limit is roughly $500, and you will get the SR, sorry, sorry, the SSR, unless it's on a split rate up. Please remember that. There are some juicy split rate up banners in the future, and you might be tempted. It will be a coin flip. And worse, if there are multiple SSRs on it, which that doesn't really happen. And so if you're rolling for like the AOE, um, the summer AOE banner, then like you get what you deserve, which is me. Let's talk about how long it takes to hit this. Over the next two years, and I ran the numbers, if you were to save every ticket for the next two years in NA, from events, from your logins, from the Mono Prism shop, it would get you 458 tickets. That's enough for an entire pity should you hit the pity so if you are f2p at the very least we're not even counting courts you get way more rolls in saint courts than you do in tickets right but as an f2p if there is a servant in the next i'm gonna say year and a quarter in the next year and a quarter aka well before the recent coin sky face um right in time for oberon if you are looking at those servants and you are purely f2p it does not reset very bullio. If you don't get the featured five star, it does not reset. If you are a free to play and you're looking at this pity and you're saying that's too high, I'll never hit that, I, there's no point. Let me tell you right now, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because right in time for all those major servants at Anniversary 6, Summer 6, Oberon, Coin Sky of Light, etc. Right in time for them, if you just save tickets just save tickets only you will have enough for a guaranteed featured ssr on the banner all right i wanted to make that very clear between now and and summer six basically you have plenty of tickets to guarantee an ssr on a banner of your choice it's not multiple all right it's a thing though okay keep that in mind if you're purely free to play and there's something you've seen this year in jp that really tickles your fancy okay so that being said, it's 1.76 pity hits if you start from like now until next uh, or so in two years from now, right? There's a caveat to that. This doesn't include special giveaways, perhaps Thanksgiving, perhaps the advent calendar, should those things be incorporated in. It's not really going to change, as you can see, the amount of pity you would get. But so there you go. There you go. I just wanted to make that clear because, again, I try to think about the game from all aspects, from people on all different sides, all right? So if you're rolling for this new uh, coin sky right here, as because this is an FGO character now, you have plenty of time to just save your tickets on the side and be guaranteed to get them. It's a thing, all right? It's a thing. If you want this FGO servant that is definitely an FGO servant in the game Fate Grand Order in 2022, no cap, absolutely true, then you can get this FGO servant that's in Fate Grand Order in 2022, all right?